What's up, bitch here? So today we're getting some black bean ground ready. I apologize for the wind. So this ground here has got cover crop wheat on it. Sprayed it a couple weeks ago. It's not real tall, but it was pretty thick. It was pretty nice. So this ground is working up really, really nice. And then next to it, we've got a strip that didn't have much cover crop. It was just broadcast on. This is working up well too, but we're gonna see which one gets us better black beans. The wheat, in theory, is gonna hold the moisture if it gets really good and dry. Um, it always gets dry some point in Western New York, and we always get too much rain in Western New York. So it's gonna be interesting to see if it, the wheat side or the side that was just broadcast doesn't have much, and some of the field, it's hard to tell behind me, didn't really get any cover crop because it got too wet and too late to put it on. But uh, we're always experimenting, always learning, and, uh, and when we get to harvest, hopefully the yield monitor will show us the cover crop uh, paid off this year.
Diane is vacuuming out the corn hoppers. They have three bushel hoppers. It's a little hard to dump the seed out. So we're vacuuming out the corn, and we're putting the bean meters on. Then we're gonna dump the black bean seed in. We'll show you that in a minute. So the corn meters, if you look down in there, every one of them things, we call them a finger. Let's see if I can get them to spin over for you. So on a John Deere planter and some Kinsey's that are finger pickup, every one of them little fingers, sorry it won't focus, Every one of them little fingers picks up the seed as it goes around, drops it in a belt. This little belt here has little cups. They're spaced evenly apart. They drop the seeds down in the furrow. So every corn plant you see in the field, one of them fingers picked up. Now a lot of people have different fancier planters that have a vacuum with some type of seed disc, but this is what we use. So then for the black beans, we use like a soybean feed cup because they won't fit in a soybean radial bean meter. So that little cup there spins around and drops the beans down this tube, drops them down the tube on the planter, then uh, they go in the furrow and they get covered up. So a little bit of a process, but we're getting the meters off, getting the bean meters cups on, and we're gonna get rocking and rolling and uh, get some beans planted today. It's a little bit cooler today. It's barely 70 degrees. It's kind of rare for the 18th day of June, but uh, right on time for planting black beans. We usually try to get them in between the 10th and the 20th, so we're right on time. Kind of a sad day. The 8 295R we rented is going back today. We're done with planting black beans. So we're planting strip till. This ground was zone built. And we're planting between the last year's corn stalk rows. It might not look pretty, but to me it's beautiful. The seed bed's good. We got plenty of moisture. I might be planting them a little bit deep, but it's gonna be 90 in a couple of days. So come on there, somewhere in there is be Trust me, somewhere in there's a little black bean seed. And uh, yeah, the zones are gorgeous. So if you wanna know what a black bean seed looks like, it looks just like the black beans you buy in the store, except they're treated with uh, seed treatment. 
So they're not supposed to be blue. They'll be black when we harvest them. Don't worry. So we're uh, we're putting down about 23 gallons an acre of 721.7 liquid starter. We're not putting anything through that tank, but uh, we got our furrow cruiser closing wheels on the back, and we're gonna gonna get this field done. We're only putting in 60 acres of black beans this year, but that's enough. One day of harvesting this fall, the price is good. Hopefully they do well. So follow along, we'll get the rest of them planted and uh, color pack later. So here's the finished product in the black bean field. We planted these Monday, day after Father's Day, and it's been hot and dry. We're hoping the corn residue and the wheat residue is gonna hold the moisture. So these little buggers are tough. They've already germinated. The little necks are right there. Whoops. Um, so they're gonna be they're gonna be coming along in a few days. We got pretty good moisture down in a little ways. Um, like I say, we're hoping the residue is gonna hold the moisture. So we're gonna keep you posted through the season and this fall we're gonna do an update. We're gonna do a, where are they now, black bean edition. So as always, like, subscribe,
hit the little notification bell and uh, the cat's out here looking for mice. So great day to feed the world.